I've tried to offer leadership to the Democratic Party and the nation. If in my high moments I have done some good, offered some service, shed some light, healed some wounds, rekindled some hope, or stirred some warmth of apathy and indifference, or in any way along the way helped somebody, then this campaign has not been in vain. For friends who loved and cared for me, and for a God who spared me, and for a family who understood, I'm eternally grateful. If in my low moments, in word, deed, or attitude, through some era of temper, taste, or tone, I've caused anyone discomfort, created pain, or revived someone's fears, that was not my truest self. If there were occasions when my grape turned into a raisin and my jaw bell lost its resonance, please forgive me. Charge it to my head and not to my heart. My head, so limited in its finitude, my heart, which is boundless in its love for the human family. I am not a, pup, a perfect servant. I am a public servant, doing my best against the odds as I develop and serve. Be patient. God is not finished with me yet. This campaign has taught me much that leaders must be tough enough to fight, tender enough to cry, human enough to make mistakes, humble enough to admit them, strong enough to absorb the pain, and resilient enough to bounce back and keep on moving. For leaders, the pain is often intense, but you must smile through your tears and keep moving with the faith that there's a brighter side somewhere. I went to see Hubert Humphrey three days before he died. He had just called Richard Nixon from his dying bed, and many people wondered why. And I asked him, he said, Jesse, from this vantage point, the sun setting in my life, all of the speeches, the political conventions, the crowds, and the great fights are behind me now. At a time like this, you are forced to deal with your irreducible essence, forced to grapple with that which is really important to you. And what I've concluded about life, Hubert Humphrey said, when all is said and done, we must forgive each other and redeem each other and move on. Our party is emerging from one of its most hard-fought battles for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination in our history. But our health and competition should make us better, not bitter. We must use... We must use the insight, wisdom, and experience of the late Hubert Humphrey as a bomb for the wounds in our party, this nation and the world. We must forgive each other, redeem each other, regroup, and move on. Our 
flag is red, white, and blue, but our nation is rainbow. Red, yellow, brown, black, and white. We're all precious in God's sight.